Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. I just saw this post on Laravel News, so meet Aspen, a speedier and smarter API testing, outshining the Postman and Insomnia. And I have worked with Postman and Insomnia also. And let's see, so here, Postman was great, then everything become cloud focused and suddenly everything was hidden behind a login or paywall and the same thing also happened with insomnia as you can see here so let's try now this aspen and i have downloaded this aspen also here it is the application you can download from the mac store and this is only for mac which i don't like i also i think we need to support the windows users but the same we have also for the laravel heart which is only for mac users Anyway, now if you have Mac, you can, if you want to try that, you can download on the Mac store. And here is the application. Now I have created a Laravel application and let me just show you what I have done. So on the ENF example, I have just changed the DB connection to SQLite. Then I have created a post model and added only the protected fillable title. Also, let me show you the post migration so the assign table string for the title only and then the post uh, controller here on the post controller we have the index method and here i just get all the posts and return post resource collection post so i have created also this post resource just create the post resource and i have not make a change there so if i open here yeah okay then in here we have also the store method i just say post create request all and return new post resource passing here the latest post then we have the show method just return the new post resource passing the post we have injected here then the update method post update the request all and return new post resource passing this post and the last one is the destroy so delete and then return a response no content so if i open also the api routes i have register a new route api resource post and pass in this post controller okay now let's open the aspen and enter the url because i have opened the heart here this the Laravel project is Laravel dash API, so let's open that URL STP uh, Laravel dash API dot test, and we need to test the API, so we need to add slash API slash post. Okay, now let's make a get request to this URL, send, and yeah, we have empty data, no post but we have the status 200 and let me open also here the post controller and here on the index we get all the posts and return that but because we don't have we have empty data let's create with the create new file here and i don't like this uh, the history here with the close that just let me copy the url go to this one put that URL here and this is going to be a post request because I want to create a new post and here we have the store method we need to add just the title and say post create and then it's going to return the latest post which is the that we create here so we make a post request to this URL and we need to add a body also so let's say uh, title we need only the title and the value for example first post and i'm going to say send this and yeah we have a return data with id one title first post created at and updated at okay now let me just copy this and create a new one i'm going to paste that this is going to be a patch request here now we need update uh, this post for example we need to add also the id and this is going to be the id one 
go to body now inside the form data we need to add the x www url encode it and say title first post updated i'm going to say like this and let's say send and yeah we have return that post and here we have the title first post updated very good let's see let's create a new one this is going to be for delete request and copy and paste this url now if i say send here i want to delete the post and return response no content but this is not going to work right now i think because right now if i open the insomnia and here I have the same thing if I say send a request, sort of this URL, post one and say send. Yeah, here we return no body return, but we have two or four not content. In uh, Aspend, it's not going to delete, so let's go and create a new one. So I'm going to say second post here. Create here we have second post. So right now if I make a get request here, we have only the second post. As you can see with ID2. Now let's go to delete and instead of this, because this is not going to work in here, I don't know why. I'm going to make a post request here and go to body. And here I'm going to say underscore method to be delete. And now if I say send, not to post one, but to post two. Yeah, we have two or four, no content. Create new one, let's say third post here. So now we have third post and let's go to get all. Yeah, we have a third post and let's create a new one. I'm going to copy this URL. This one is going to be get the get single one. If I say send, yeah, we have 404. And if I add the number three, the ID of three, yeah, we have 200 and we get the single request. Okay, now if I delete the post with ID three, send, yeah, 204, no content. Now if I make a get request here, we have this 404 and not found. Now, if I go to raw, we have this HTML instead of that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open here the handler. And of course, if you go to Laravel, so I'm going to open here the Laravel website. And I'm going to search here for rendering exceptions, error handling, we can check, for example, here we have an example, we check if the request is from the API, return the response to JSON message record not found. So let's copy this and let's add that in the register on the handler, paste that in, import the not found exception and also the request from Illuminate HTTP request and let's save now if I open this one and say send we have the message record not found and also if I go to row the same thing we don't have the full HTML and the same thing if we go to patch and we don't have the post with ID 1 and send the request this yeah we have a message record not found okay so let's go and create a new one and this is going to be the Final post, it's going to have the ID 4, and just I wanted to show you we can get that, so with the ID 4, get, yeah, we have that, here we delete that post, but I'm not going to delete now, let's say final post updated, change the ID of the final post to 4, 
and now final post update if i open sonia here get all send request we have the id 4 final post updated get one with id 5 if i say send we have the record that found but if i add 4 here yeah we have this post and if i go to up to delete add the id 1 we have where the return record not found but if i add the record the id 4 and send now we have 204 no content and it's going to delete that so now we don't have with uh, insomnia works correctly the delete but i don't know why this is not working with the uh, aspen anyway that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you about this new application now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best